Show starts right now with a breaking news alert. Right now at 9, we continue to follow breaking news out of East Palatka. Police continue their search for whoever shot a woman in the head and took off. Happened sometime before 3.30 this morning at a kangaroo station on Highway 17 and State Road 207. That woman who was hit is in stable condition. Channel 4's Bakari Savage has been at the scene all morning and joins us live. Bakari, police are telling you this was not random. Right, Scott, it's important to say that there is no threat to the public and the sheriff's office is investigating the shooting that happened right behind me on 207 as though there is some sort of connection from the people involved. Let's go back to 3 o'clock this morning. Shot in the head while driving down 207, a 29-year-old woman stops at the kangaroo station at 17 and 207, apparently for help. The sheriff's office says that someone in another SUV pulled up beside the car she was in and all it took was one shot to send her to Orange Park Medical Center. With this being so early in the investigation, Captain Woods shares the details they're working with. Well, the only information we have right now is that the suspect vehicle was a dark colored or possibly a black SUV. And the um, we do believe there was at least one uh, black male in that vehicle. It was last seen northbound on 17. And obviously, uh, we you know, are reaching out to the public. If, if anyone knows anything about the incident, certainly uh, we would appreciate it if they would call the Putnam County Sheriff's Office and, and let us know. And the latest update that we have on that woman's condition is that she is in stable condition at Orange Park Medical. Reporting live in East Plaque, I'm Bakari Savage, Channel 4, the local station. So, Bakari, that looks like a real busy intersection to me. It was overnight. Anyone see this that we know of? Do they have many witnesses? Well, that's a part of the investigation. So when they pulled into this gas station, there were a lot of people here during that time. There were so many people, in fact, that they heard the shooting happen. So multiple calls were placed to 911 at that time. Right now, the sheriff's office is going through those 911 calls for more information to hopefully catch whoever did this.